All right, guys, today we have something a bit different. This is MX Unleashed, and the reason we're doing this, just kind of a short intro, is because this is the road to MX versus ATV Legends, and what I wanted to do was play one MX versus ATV game each week until Legends comes out. So that's what we're going to do, MX Unleashed, lead up to MX versus ATV Legends. All right, guys, so 2022, is this game still good? Is it still fun? Yes, it is really fun. Now, this would be the beginning, kind of, for MX versus ATV, but it was just the bikes in this game, and I don't know. This game was for the OG Xbox, and when I played it, I'm pretty sure I used the D-pad, but I tried in this game, and it just didn't feel right, so I used the the left stick, and it, it was... <laughs> the game is really sensitive, right? So, I actually had trouble. I mean, it's different. It's way different from contemporary games nowadays, so uh, we had trouble, but holy moly, I had fun playing this game. Um, I played it forever. If you have Xbox Gold... You absolutely must pick this game up. Like, you have to pick this game up. It is so good, and it's free. It's free if you have gold, so you have to pick it up. It's so good, and why not? It costs nothing. Um, if you haven't played it, or even if you have, it is a trip down memory lane, kind of. Uh, it was for me, at least. And I even remember, I mean, I was... I was really young when I played this game, and I still remember some of the tracks that that uh, I grinded out a ton. I believe it was Jackson Supercross, and there was a whoop section, and it had like a single right after the whoops, but you could kind of preload and double out of the whoops over that to be faster. There was just stuff, you know, like that 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 I could remember trying to be faster at each track. And the Supercross tracks were awesome. They were really cool. But the motocross tracks were, in my opinion, the main highlight of the game. The environments they had, the tracks were so good. They were kind of fantasy or really overscaled, but they were so fun. They were really fun in the game. And, I mean, games did get better after this game. I'm, I think I preferred MX Unleashed here, but... MX vs. ATV Unleashed was very good too. Um, the bikes were maybe a bit better. The rider models were a tad better maybe, but um, I played this game more for sure. Uh, definitely played this game more. Um, but is it is it still good in 2022? Yes, very much so. It, you know, it's really cool. It's on the Xbox One that they brought it over from uh, the OG Xbox because... It looks so much better. It records really good. It played really well. It, um, the last time I played this game was on an emulator on PC. And I remember that didn't go very good. I mean, here it was awesome. I did the career and some of the career and it had cheat codes. Remember cheat codes? I put the cheat codes in. So we had the bikes and the tracks and all that stuff. And um, I just forgot how awesome and how flowy these outdoor tracks were, and it had an insane preload. Yeah, it did, but the fun part about the, the outdoor tracks is that you didn't always have to preload. I mean, some of these this stuff was meant to be hit. You just had to rail the corner, and then no preload, and hit it perfect. That's how the tracks were built, so it was awesome. The whips were pretty good. The sounds were pretty good. I mean, you might say they're, you might disagree, but I feel like the four strokes and the two strokes were pretty decent. I mean, look at uh, Milestone two stroke sounds in Supercross 5. They're not the worst in the world, but they definitely could be better. And I felt like it almost kind of feels like the two strokes in this game sound better than they do. It's so weird that some things in motocross games now don't feel as well done as they were back then i mean as far as comparing you know it's it's like i mean it's kind of apples to oranges here because this game was not an official motocross or supercross game and milestone 
is an official MXGP or Supercross game, so the tracks have to be a certain way. And graphically, yeah, we have gotten better for sure. But just the creativity, the original ideas behind making these tracks was fantastic. And the developers that were involved with making this game, MX vs. ATV Unleashed and Untamed, and then obviously Reflex, you know, it almost feels like a time in gaming, Moto Gaming, that we might not ever get back, right? I keep hoping, I mean, the games are good. I do enjoy the games nowadays, but, you know, people have said it a bunch, but it would be so cool to get a remaster of one of these older games. I mean, like this game, or MX vs. ATV Unleashed, or Untamed, or... You know, obviously, Reflex, it would be so cool to get a a remaster or even a full-on remake of the game. It would be so awesome to see that. And I think, you know, I, I'm always for the new stuff because I feel like eventually we're going to get another instant classic, you know, such as Reflex. But I don't know. I'm still waiting for it. Um, I did enjoy All Out, but I don't feel like it was an instant classic especially because of how it released right so yeah i mean maybe legends will be that way i don't know i believe i believe they're selling it for 40 bucks so it's even cheaper than all out was so i don't know i i don't know if i'm worried but definitely want to keep our eye on it because it is selling for 40 instead of 50 and it does have a decent amount of DLC planned already for, for like pre-order. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited for it. This is the road to MX versus ATV Legends. I keep saying all out, but Legends and is the game good in 2022? Yes, it is for sure. Pick it up free on Xbox. I don't know about PlayStation. I don't know if um, you can buy it like backwards compatible on PlayStation, but you can on Xbox. So definitely take advantage of having having that option. And yeah, so one MX versus ATV game a week until Legends comes out. So Unleashed this week, MX versus ATV Unleashed next week, then Untamed, uh, Reflex, I believe, Alive, uh, Supercross, Supercross Encore, and all out. It should take us to the week before MX vs. ATV Legends comes out. So, yes, definitely want to do the series, but only if you guys want to see it. If you do want to see it, make sure to leave a like on the video so I know you you definitely want to see more. And we will do every MX vs. ATV game from the beginning all the way through all out up to MX vs. ATV legends so yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think um if you have played it or picked it up on xbox free with gold and we can go from there but you guys and girls are absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support on the channel lately it really does mean a lot and until the next video take it easy